everyone, I'm Nancy Williams and I'm an artist here at the Sawdust Festival. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I have set up a temporary booth, uh, which is kind of similar to the booth that I normally have during the summer. If you guys have ever come to visit me, either in the summer or the winter. And as you know, I usually have lots of creations around me with lots of different art supplies because I love doing all different types. If it's sewing, painting, drawing, working with felt, working with embroidery thread. I like to have everything at my fingertips so that we can create. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my blocks. So I know I have some collectors out there. Um, you know, I have different blocks with different designs. And a lot of the ones that I create are things that I love. So they might have to do with coffee or sloths or unicorns, things that are just silly and happy. Another thing that I started just uh, doing this last summer was uh, I introduced the fairies. And if you want to see here, this is sort of how I start them, which I use a lot of the wool felting in a lot of different types of my artwork. So again, this is kind of just creating a wool felt with a little wooden ball, some pipe cleaner, and then using embroidery thread to wrap around to give it more of the arms and the legs. And then from there really is your creativity, adding the detail with the Sharpie with the faces and the little clothing and little shoes, you know, anything you want to do to add to, to give it the personality. So from here, I'm going to move over to my sewing. Um, so I'm going to do that in the next segment. So hold on just a second and I will be right back with that. Thanks guys. Hi. So uh, a lot of the creations I make start from drawings. I'm going to show you an example here. I love to do sketches. So this was a series that I just introduced. Um, they're kind of like sleepy. Uh, ragamuffin dolls, um, which you can actually see right here. So uh, again, I start out with drawings, kind of colors. I love using like recycled, upcycled fabrics because I can get things that you normally can't get anywhere um, or everywhere, I should say. So you can see here, this is all pieces of uh, reused and purposed fabric. So how I'm going to show you here is usually nothing I use uh, is from a pattern. So. I randomly just cut out pieces and then whatever sort of happens, happens. So here, this guy's going to be a fox. Uh, I have kind of retro fabrics since so that's kind of what I'm drawn to. So I'm going to sew a little bit of this guy. Um, he will end, end up having eyes and detail and will, you know, end up coming to the point where you can end up stuffing him and kind of going from there. But this is a little monster that I did earlier. So let me go ahead and sew a bit of this so you can see. So as you can see, I have a very decorated machine. This gets a lot of attention. Um, there's so many different things that I love. Uh, it just makes it more exciting for me uh, when I get to sew and get to see this. Um, so I'm gonna be working on a fox that I have today. Again, I'm very inspired by retro fabrics, as you can sort of see in my line. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this guy so we can add the detail on him. Uh, I learned to sew standing up because I learned at the show. Uh, I originally was hand sewing, and I can kind of show you one of the first things that I made, which were little owls, and I had to do a lot of hand detail. Uh, luckily, my sister bought me a sewing machine that year, so I could do this much quicker. Um, and I don't call myself a proper sewer. Uh, everything I make is, again, one of a kind. Um, it's not perfect. Sometimes there might be holes and stuff, but you know, you patch them up and you give them detail, and it all adds character. You know, just like looking at this doll here, um, she's definitely not perfect, but that's what I love about her. You know, I love the extra stitching and this is something you can do at home too. If you're creating something, like say I just did this little monster and you end up with a little hole in it, you know what, add a little patch or add some funky color stitching so it no longer looks like an accident. It looks like you did it on purpose. And it just, again, adds character and detail. A lot of people ask me, about my process and how long it takes me to create something. And I actually can say I have no answer for that because I don't do it uh, from finish to start. A lot of my stuff is done in sections. So I might work on the face and then maybe I don't finish the face or the body and add it together to a, to a doll from anywhere from like a week to a month or a year. Sometimes it just sits, you know, on my back studio hanging here waiting to be done or waiting to find the perfect spot of where it's gonna go. Um, but I just try to keep creating. So if I get stuck on something, I move to another thing. So that's sort of the story with my dolls. Um, again, it's really about being imperfectly perfect or perfectly imperfect. So 
I love seeing the detail. I love things that are not uh, the norm. Uh, it just adds character and love. And you can see, you know, that they're made, handmade, and they're not mass produced. So I hope everyone gets a chance to come out to the Sawdust Festival. This is a place where we have so many amazing artists. The place is magical. You come onto the grounds and you get to see and meet the artists and get to watch them work. Um, and that's such an amazing thing to do and an experience you can't experience anywhere else. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you all soon. Love and peace to everyone.